Play tough, play tough. Still playing tough. Y'all still playing tough. Huh? Meeting you. How, how they won, some of y'all might have questions. Went off of penetration. That's how they do Sunday day out. If we scored, they scored, and we go again. But whoever gets the most yards who don't score wins the game. But the main thing why I want y'all here, with this being our last game, my first year, and me talking to y'all as well, the kids, it's kind of a tough way to lose, but I couldn't be any more proud of these men and y'all's parents. I, I am blessed to be here. I am blessed that Coach Marsh allowed me here. I am blessed of this man beside me who helped. I couldn't be any more proud of trying to be a small influence on their life, not to be good players, but be men one day. And, now, and I've always told them it's not about the wins or losses is about how we finish. We grow the most from our losses when it hurts. I, I, I realize that. And I've been there, 
<coughs> and this group right here is fault. We've played longer, I don't know how long, about 10 weeks or longer. And every day we scrap. When we first started this thing, I was real, real worried about how we was going to do because they were a bunch of knuckleheads that couldn't very play organized football very well. But we have become, I wish y'all could see this, when we started, to how we ended. There's not one kid that I haven't chewed out. There's not one kid I've loved on. There ain't one kid, if you got in trouble at school, we crawled you good. And so it's not about how they played, it's about how we conduct ourselves as men. And, and I appreciate you parents allowing me to be the coach, and not only be the coach, but to coach them as tough as I can. And men, talk to y'all in front of your parents. I know, I know it hurts, but that, that's life. You, sometimes you come up short, but the only thing you can control, we can't control the referees. All we can control is us and how we play amongst with each other as brothers. You hear me? Yes, sir. And we need to learn that. When our when the wolf is knocking on the door, we gotta we gotta stand strong. We can't flinch, and we didn't. All the way to the end, we played to the last end. A couple plays beat us, but overall, in my book, y'all won, and it don't matter. The first year we ever done this, I couldn't be any more proud of how we finished. I hope all y'all stick together next year. Some of y'all might play with me. Some of y'all might be moving up. And I can't wait to coach you again. Proud of y'all. Love you. What you want to say, Sam? Guys, I've enjoyed playing this whole season with y'all. I know once we first started, everything was a little scrappy. Nobody knew each other. No one knew, had any idea who anyone was. But we all grew together as a family, as a team. And here we are now. Most teams don't even make it this far. So y'all should be proud of how big we've grown and how far that we've made it. I love each and every single one of you. Big man out there, boys. Big man out there. Guys, always remember that there's something that, that you learn from me as you pass on. It's all about the, it's, the process is more important than the product. So everything we've done and have you grown is more important than that scoreboard right now. What we're trying to become parents and kids at Toombs County, what we're trying to do here, we got to build off of what we've done. We don't, when we beat Vidalia, the second time we didn't get old, like we won a Super Bowl because we believe that we're going to win. It hurts when we lose because we expect to win. When we go to practice, we practice hard and we board drill it up, right? Yes, sir. Let's keep it going. This ain't over. The, the ride is not over. Don't got a long ways and y'all would never forget this day. Dogs on three. Love y'all. Love y'all. Dogs on three on me. One, two, three. Dogs! Remember your jerseys, man.